I think it's not just mine, uh, I'm sure it is yours too, and uh, you know, millions of other, of other loyal Malaysians. Now we have seen uh, DAP's uh, uh, great capacity uh, for uh, manipulating um, you know, truth, uh, for manipulating um, uh, perceived shortcomings of the government, um, and, and they will continue to do this. Now that they have tasted um, uh, victory, in that you know we have uh, done away with many of the laws which uh, would have prevented um, uh, you know all the violence of street demonstration, etc. And they're not coming out openly, you know, proclaiming uh, uh, that uh, street demonstrations. Uh, should be accepted, they're part of our democratic way of life, but they have never once mentioned the fact that with human rights, with rights, you know, to, 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 uh, to, uh, to take part in election, right uh, of speech, uh, and so on, must come responsibilities to them. This doesn't really matter as long as they achieve what they want. For example, their lawmakers, their members of parliament, were supporters of uh, street demonstrations organized by Bruce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when I pointed out to them that you know that I would not be, uh, you know, a party uh, to this. Uh, because I said, we as lawmakers should not be lawbreakers. And to them, that is not a consideration that, you know, has the slightest um, effect on them. So these people are exploiting democratic values and principle um, for their own end. Um, so I, I, I fear that unless, unless they fall into line with the aspirations of the nation as a whole, uh, I think the future is going to be bleak. This is why I kept saying this, you know, uh, in my um, uh, press conferences, as reported in the New States Times, the government must act within the law, and if any law is broken, action will be taken, and for heaven's sake, you know, do not fear their standard response when you, uh, you know, you uh, dig them in or when you question them. What is the standard um, uh, script? Politically motivated, which means to say that, you know, they can do anything they like and we're too frightened to touch them because we fear of being accused of taking actions which are politically motivated. Yeah, I, I've, seen, I've seen that the standard reaction, the scripted reaction. Uh, yeah. Before the election, the, the term, I, I've written about it a couple of days uh, back. It's whenever they, they, are, they, are, they are criticized, the standard reaction would be racism. Mm. And they will whack back by saying corruption. Mm. And they will also add in, okay, with the help of Anwar Ibrahim, rig election. It's, it's a standard, yes. uh, scripted, uh, parroted. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And yet people believe. People believe absolutely. But why, 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 do, why is it that people believe so much yeah. in what is so obviously a sham, uh, fakery, and probably a bogus type of belief? Why, why, why do you think that Malaysians? Fall for this so easily. Yeah. I think Malaysians on the whole are probably uh, the uh, you know uh, the biggest rumor mongers anyway in the world. Uh, but also, uh, but also, I think you know uh, they are also great believers in conspiracy theories, and going against the government seems to be fashionable uh, because uh, you know especially for the young who have no sense of history because we have neglected to teach history in our schools. We have not 
um, uh, you know, we have removed the teaching of civics. Yes. And I think civics must be put back, you know, in the school curriculum. History must be given a proper place so that people understand how we have developed, you know, from, um, say, from British colonial period or even beyond yes. to the present. And people seem to think that, you know, that all these things that they see around them have just dropped from the sky. And they will not give credit, um, you know, to what the government, the present government, has done. Yeah? But, you know, they believe. They believe what uh, the AP, for example, uh, they are so-called experts on our economy, on our defense, defense systems, weapon system, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, all of these other things. Uh, I think the problem is the government must uh, respond the moment a lie is told that the person who has uh, perpetrated these lies, you know, to be accountable. One of the most insidious statements that uh, uh, Anwar and the dynastic globe <laughs> stated is that this has been stated uh, twice already. I've heard this term said twice. One Aang said it two years back that the, is, is claiming that the government must stop uh, brainwashing children with Hitlerian ideas. Took side with that statement and I put in the necessary criticism. Suddenly, a few years later, uh, which is written about, oh, at the time when that took no blood, the ex judge said, that there would be a Malay backlash against the Chinese tsunami. And suddenly, what was to be a polemic, simple question about race relations with Malaysia, was turned by Anwar into, incredibly, this, uh, into one of the most hateful things that ever been stated. And mm -hmm. Anwar whacked back the action by saying that his statement is worse than a Ku Klux Klan and would make Hitler proud. Now, this is the second time the word Hitler has arised from the words of the opposition. And it got me thinking, saying, if this government was ever like Hitler, none of these jokers would have to be alive to see it. Absolutely. Uh, this is, again, this is what they're good at. Yeah. They have a special knack for overstating uh, uh, situations. And Anwar is... A, is, is well, he's a, uh, I wanted to say past master, but he's a, a living <laughs> example of a person who thrives on lies. And uh, uh, he's an alarmist. Um, he is a bit like the story of the boy who cried wolf, wolf yes. one too many times. Uh, this is honor for you. You know, and yet people believe because he is persuasive. He can paint a picture of, uh, you know, of, of uh, well, doomsday uh, kind of scenario for Malaysia unless people supported, you know, his, his, uh, uh, his, his way, ways of doing things. But uh, you are right. If this was a government uh, which uh, bases its philosophy on, on uh, Nazism, uh, then uh, you think these people would be allowed to, to hold charama and so on? Uh, you know, there would be uh, uh, camps for them. You know, yes. And probably uh, with gas supplied by, um, by Malaysian oxygen. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> or even Petronas, but I to guess. <laughs> or Petronas, yeah. <laughs> Followed Anwar for many, many years, since 19, sorry, 1981, when I was a rookie reporter covering him and he was with Abdin. And I thought he was a bit of a flake then. And uh, apparently, he's still a flake now, even worse. Um, he is now being faced with the idea that he'll never go to Pretoria, yet he's clawing his way. Yes. I call him a nihilist in many ways. How do you stop someone like him? 
how does the what what the, does the government have to do to finally expose him to what he is? Apparently, whatever tactics and strategies and battle campaigns and election campaigns are failed to stop this man from obviously trying to take over the government in the most deceitful ways. Well, I think, you know, uh, we, we have to go to the root cause uh, of, of uh, uh, the problem we now face with ANOA. ANOA, uh, through the AT, which provides the, the technical know-how, yes. uh, you know, they have captured the cyber space. Uh, there is no, uh, no question uh, of that. They have, you know, got it. We have handed it to them on a platter. We have to regulate this. We have to take some examples of how this is uh, being done. I was just reading, uh, you know, the independent uh, online uh, about the, the murder uh, the terrible murder Woolwich, Woolwich? Uh, in, in, in Woolwich yes. um, and uh, subsequent to that there were uh, two tweeters you know who posted messages which were considered uh, dangerous and harmful to society etc and you know within hours they identified who these people were and they were charged meaning that the authorities have from their part yeah. they have recognized and isolated what is free speech, what is hate speech, and what is inside to speech. Absolutely, but absolutely, and this is what we need to do. And Singapore has done it. And I think doing a very good job of it. So in Singapore, you post something which is, which uh, you know, which threatens um, uh, national security or lies, which uh, you know, which um, uh, compromise. A person's uh, um, uh, what you call uh, credibility, a person's character, etc. Uh, you have to be held accountable. Now let's do this. We have neglected to do this since the creation of Putrajaya. Uh, we have an information service. Uh, I think we should take on this uh, uh, in a robust way. I'm not suggesting that you know we we act uh, as Hitler did. Uh, in spite of what they may say, mm -hmm. uh, but I think you know we should enforce the law, have laws which are adequate to meet this kind of situation. Because otherwise, as you said earlier, I think the future of a country, um, you know, would be uh, put at very considerable risk. Do you think the prime minister is going towards that? I have a feeling he is, but he is being negated or even undermined by a lot of internal uh, tug war. Yeah. So how, how, what kind of uh, advice would you give him if had you been a close personal assistant with him today? Well, I, 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 I would say that, uh, you know, um, his success as, as leader of the nation, leader of the government, depends very much on his uh, his courage yeah, to uh, get to grips with the forces which are uh, obstructing his plan, his government transformation program, uh, which as far as I can see is an excellent attempt, excellent initiative to, to right the wrongs of the past. Get rid of those who are there uh, merely, uh, you know, to feed their own egos. These people are useless. People have been saying this. Get rid of the dead wood and start afresh. You know, uh, unless unless um, the prime minister has the stomach for this kind of purging, uh, he is going to be saddled forevermore with people who are going to be uh, a drag, you know, on, on what he's trying to do. So to the Prime Minister, I say, stay the course, get rid of the dead wood, and find people 
who can assist in taking the new Malaysia forward. Shubhra, thank you. Thank you, Aziz, for a very combustible comment, for your combustible comments, and insightful also. And I thank you for coming here to join us in the NSC chat. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll talk to you again sometime in the future. Again, probably perhaps on the same issues. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's been a real joy. Uh, for me personally, uh, you know, to meet you for the first time, okay. I've read all your writings and uh, uh, it's really a great pleasure. <laughs>